in this lecture we will try to learn about derivatives and its properties okay so we will learn about derivatives and its properties okay so we will learn about derivatives and their properties so first property that we learn is so d by dx of f of x plus g of x so these are two functions i want to find the derivative of their sum this is equal to d by dx of f of x plus d by dx of g of x okay so this is the first rule known as sum sum rule that you can take the sums for two expressions and their derivatives will also be the sum okay and next rule is for the subtraction also it's the same so d by dx of f of x minus g of x this is equal to df of x by dx minus d gx by dx okay so this is difference these are all very simple rules okay then you have df of x into gx what happens if two functions are multiplied then also you can find the derivative okay so this becomes easy, easier if you use the formula f of x so differentiation of this is derivative is dgx by dx plus g of x into df by dx okay so this is the product and last one is the division okay so uh, the thing is f of x by g of x so this you have to find the derivative of this so this is equal to g of x whole square gx df of x by dx minus f of x d g x by dx okay so this is the formula for the division okay so quotient okay the division rule so these are the four rules which can make your life very simple okay so we will look at one examples for each one of them very cute simple examples okay so our first example we will be taking is that let's see so first example that we will take is f of x is x plus 1 by x okay now what can you say about this function this is first function this is sum of two functions so this is i can say hx this is g of x so now i can use the addition rule sum rule so it will be h dash x will be equal to 1 g dash x is equal to what so this is x to the power of g of x i can write as x to the power of minus 1 and we know for x to the power of n if let's say so this is the function y is x to the power of n then dy by dx is n x to the power of n minus 1 so here x to the power of minus 1 it will become minus 1 by x square okay so this will be the thing so here f dash x will be equal to the sum of this 1 minus 1 by x square okay this is one way of seeing but i can simplify this f of x as x x square plus 1 this is also fine so 
now what happens this is h of x by g of x form division rule so now again we can apply so you can remember it as u by v d of u by v dx is equal to v square v du by dx minus u dv by dx it's easy to remember like this okay so this will now become so first we find du by dx so u is x square plus 1 so du by dx is 2x v is x so dv by dx is equal to 1 so now it becomes v so x into du by dx which is 2x minus u so u is x square plus 1 into dv by dx which is 1 by v square so v is x square so this becomes 2x square minus x square minus 1 by x square so which is x square minus 1 by x square or 1 by 1 minus x square so using both addition rule and the division rule we find that we get the same f dash x so this explains for us also the division rule addition rule and the correctness of them because we got the same answer using both of them okay next we will see one of the product rules okay so product rule the question is now fx is sin square x okay so fx is sin square x so what will happen now we can write it as fx as sin of x into sin of x so f dash x so this is now u this is v so it will become f dash is u dv by dx plus v du by dx okay so u is sin x v is sin x so this becomes u which is sin x dv by dx which is cos x okay so this will be cos of x plus v which is sin x and du by dx is cos x so this is 2 sin of x cos of x so this is sin 2x okay so this is about what so this is about the product rule okay how to find using product rule next what can be done is that let's see one last example for this so f of x is x minus a into x minus b again we can apply this is u this is v so we can use the product rule so it becomes f dash x is x minus a dv by dx will be 1 plus x minus b du by dx is 1 so this is x minus a plus x minus b so 2x minus a minus b we can directly multiply fx and make it a sum problem so x square minus a plus b x plus a b so fx is this so f dash x now i can take the sum rule so it will become 2x minus a plus b this is constant so this will be 0 okay so this is the same answer from both the sides so this explains the rule of these sum rule difference rule product rule and the division rule so here you can write these as u and v also okay so hence it becomes little easier to remember these u and v so this becomes u dv by dx plus v du by dx very symmetric 
and similarly this becomes v du by dx minus u dv by dx by v square okay so these are the two four formulas that you have to remember and it gives us the way to find derivatives of some 